Okay. And so essentially their stick was was appropriating black culture. Yes, as Asians do. And <laughs> they were appropriating black culture in the sense of flexing with money. I think I seen videos with her dad having like a grill and stuff. Essentially they were just trying to act like they had a lot of money and they were exploiting the little girl. So essentially they would do things Kind of a la similar. I don't know if you're familiar with Baby Gronk. Have you heard of, heard of him? No, I have not. So he's one of these other internet sensations where his dad is, his kind of niche is football. His niche is football. Mm-hmm. And so his dad essentially takes him going around doing interviews and they got exposed. So essentially in their interviews, what he was doing was feeding him lines. So they would ask him the question, cut to the to Gronk, you look, Baby Gronk, you see his dad telling him what to say. And then they let him say it. And essentially, the plan is supposed to be cut question, cut to the kid. He answers the question crazy. Cut to the reaction. That's how you create the viral moment. Mm-hmm. That's essentially, from what I was looking at, some interviews of her, that's what they was doing. Because I'm looking at the cuts. I'm looking at the reaction. This doesn't feel natural. This doesn't feel normal. What she's saying feels staged. Yeah. Like someone is giving her these this lines, this ideals, and be, hey, this is what we need you to push. Did she did she talk in her content? Mostly her content was just with the money. She would have a lot of money in her hands, yeah. jewelry, uh, you know, materialism. It wasn't anything of substance. Mm-hmm. It was just a, you know, essentially, like I said, they were probing black culture. So what the story is here is she has been reported uh, that she has passed away. So the the events, allegedly allegedly yeah well I mean that's where it gets crazy because the post originally came from her own page so I'm gonna read that post and it's just it's really eerie like not to lie to you like we'll get into it so this is from her Instagram page it is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing uh, we have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. This outcome was entirely unexpected, and she has left us all in shock. Her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth into our grief. During this time of immense sorrow, we kindly ask for privacy as we grieve this overwhelming loss. And the circumstances of uh, surrounding Claire and her brother's passing are still under investigation. Claire will forever remain in our hearts, her absence leaving an irreplaceable void that will be felt all who knew and loved her. So, let's just talk about the crazy part of this whole thing. Not only did her brother allegedly pass away, according to this post, Mm -hmm. the language is crazy. As the circumstances surrounding Claire and her brother's passing is still under investigation, that's nuts. Yeah. That's insane. Why do, you, why do you think it's not, it's like crazy uh, verbiage? So when I hear circumstances under the invest, uh, circumstances are surrounding the, her, you know, death is under investigation. Mm-hmm. That means no illness. And well, yeah, I would assume. They were both young kids. I would assume that would mean foul play. Yeah. They were both young and didn't have any chronic illnesses or anything like that. So. We assume that, like, when a 12-year-old dies, 14-year-old 14. 14 dies, then it's, like, she didn't die of heart disease. Like, I mean, yeah, again, so. There's there's some type of foul play at hand. and Allegedly. The the verbiage has to show that. I mean, we, we don't know because it gets crazier. As I've been doing more and more investigation, hearing more and more stories about this. So there is a person on Twitter. Her name is Majesty Rhea. This is what she kind of went into. So, so she disappears from the internet for years. After we're doing being, we're doing real investigative journalism here. Oh yeah, we're going into the tweets. Twitter, we're, we're diving. Majesty deep. Rhea. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> she has twenty k followers. Oh wow, twenty thousand okay. whole people on Twitter. That's called legitimacy. That's like a quarter of a brain per person. That's on le- Twitter. That's legit le- legitimacy. Twitter is like <laughs> bottom of the barrel social media. So let's see where her invest- her investigation <laughs> has taken her. So she says that uh, you know Lil Tay has basically disappeared for the internet from years, uh, being sent to live with her father, who was accused of abusing her and taking her money. 
Her brother tried to expose the abuse and even made a GoFundMe to help with legal fees to fight the father. But mm-hmm. the brother died too? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Put the it's, it's, it's a little fishy. Here is the, so she, she uh, put a post from Complex that kind of talked about the accusations that occurred in 20, uh, the articles from 2021. Uh, some people suspect her brother and mother didn't have pure intentions either. Uh, she also stated that it was all uh, all around sad situation. They said there was a hashtag about save Lil Tay mm-hmm. was made even back then. Uh, and then basically her kind of one big question was, so my first question is if the brother who runs the page also died and Tay, who didn't have access to the page for years, who, who accessed the page and made the statement? Who has been in control? She also uh, dropped another post. Uh, where she said she feel obligated to post this if it's true uh, and it's some type of scam or they got hacked. So let's see. This is from Aiden uh, underscore revival. The police are claiming that they have no records of little Tay, Claire Hope, or her brother's death. Additionally, someone who put a prompt through the chat GDPT that produced an almost identical paragraph to the death announced post on her Instagram. This whole thing is shady AF. Yo, this is. is nuts. Like this is in, this is freaking insane, and I guess somebody have put, any like have any reputable sources um come out and said that this this girl has passed or or have any reputable sources come out and said that there's no like the police don't have any record of her passing. Is the Daily Mail not reputable? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like. Uh, I mean everything. Actual news sources: New I'm, York Post, New York Times. I mean, I'm 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 on the investigative tip. Okay, we're on the ground floor. I'm in the grassroots. Okay, I'm like in here with no jumper, no jumper saying we don't have no information. Okay, all I'm not seeing anything that's actually like really confirming. Oh her my death. goodness, this is giving me the Asian Carly Russell. Low key, the Asian. She's seen where the clout got her. She's trying to get back into She's trying to get lit. Because ain't nobody was caring about this little girl. No, not for a Let's long time. Let's keep it a bean. That whole appropriating culture, acting like you flexing, that shit is only cute twice. That shit is cute when you nine. Little girl, you 14. All right, it's time to get grown. It's time to make real decisions. It's time to get, it's time to understand that either... If this girl's dead, I feel bad for going in on on her. But if she's not, I mean, this again, who had? Where's the post at? The the authorities don't know where she's at. I don't feel bad for feeling a little skeptical now. Everybody's lying. Everybody's AI. Like what the fuck? I don't understand. Like, is there any truth to this? This little girl gets reported she's dead at twelve uh, noon, and now end of the fucking day. We're getting reports saying that the police don't have any uh, reports on this. Are we? Is this a cloud chase of epic proportions? Faking your death for a uh, cloud chase is crazy. I knew somebody that did that before. When we, when I was in, when it was literally like right after I got out of college. Uh, That's not college. Excuse me. Right after I got out of high school. A right regular ass school, nigga. It was in yeah. And he he was he I guess I don't know he tried to get some shit popping I don't know essentially him and another dude I went to school with had put on there that he had passed away mm-hmm. and everybody was going crazy on Facebook oh my god oh my god oh my god and then come out this nigga was was lying was was lying this nigga was like lying what the, whole time. the fuck for I don't know clout maybe I don't know that's that's that, stupid. That, that was early now you just stupid that was early clout <laughs> clout to drug shit you know what I'm saying so that don't make no damn sense I've I've seen I've seen this this drug attack people before but this shit is just crazy cloud is worse than crack it's definitely worse man it's just it's just interesting to see because like i said there was there was allegations of abuse from her father which i can definitely see that like well, all, if y'all seen the old videos i can see where there was some bullshit going on. i'm really like i didn't uh watch her content that much all i really seen her do was like sit in a car with like a money fan and that's where I seen it, but when I did like some more digging and was typing her name, like then I started seeing more interviews with her, 
where she was like talking to you know more other places and stuff like that trying to you know just do the influencer thing yeah but it was like and she was like in rap videos and stuff like that like you know it was just she was a good niche for a little bit but that shit only lasts for so long to where you actually got to bring something to substance. In rap, I want you niggas to stop fucking letting everybody into the fucking culture just because they like it. Of course they fucking like it. The shit is lit as fuck. Why would you like every every single time someone shows slight interest in black culture, black people be like, oh, and give them po- you don't deserve points for that. You don't deserve points for being interested in something that is the most interesting. Right. Word. Like, that's b- whack as fuck. I hate that shit. Let's continue. <laughs> so, I mean, we're, we're, it's going to be more to come to find out, but I'm calling Cap right now. Like, this shit just doesn't seem real. And even, even like, nothing about this feels real. It's very weird. And it's... um. I, okay, but hold on. Like, the, one, one quick thing before you get into that. They said they put the her post through an IA tester. AI? Yeah. Uh, what I say? I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> AI tester? How, how, does, how, how do you know? Like, how do you know? How, how was they supposed to figure out it's AI? Just because of the way that the word, the way it was worded? I need to look into that. that I want to know the science behind been that. PR. They definitely said it was all 100% AI. This is, and that was from the page who posted this was 69 Sam 420. And they said it was pretty sus that it, it went through the, the calculator. And uh, it was all hundred percent, but man, uh, like I said, if, if she I don't is, know. if she has passed away, based off of, yeah, I mean, we don't know. That's why I kind of thought it was a little funny because it's this like is, the people on the internet, interneting and doing random bullshit and acting like they're investigators when you're not. What's you're this? you're just a a person with a computer and access to internet. We're investigators. We have journalism degrees. I mean, yeah, I, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> All right, we just got to get into some more information. Um, 